Welcome back to your feel. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It's Express All Right here on SABC3. Time for us to talk relationships. It's mm. my favorite part of the week. And we all know that there are so <laughs> many ways to meet potential romantic partners out there. And the rise uh, to prominence of the internet has made online dating a very normal thing. However, as we know, doing things on the internet carries certain risks. And unfortunately, mm. the danger of being scammed out of your money in an online relationship is a harsh reality. It really is a harsh reality. So today we're asking, could your online relationship be a scam? What Ooh. are the warning signs and what uh, reparations can be made if you are being scammed? Mm. Now, relationship expert Dr. Eve is in the building to help us discuss this hot topic and really is a hot topic. Mm. And our lines are, of course, open to you as well. So call us on 021-430-9881 with your questions or comments and uh, we'll engage with you. This is really a safe space, so you are more than welcome to call in anonymously as well. Exactly, and here she is, the Hello. lady of the moment, Dr. Hello, Eve, Dr. how Eve. are yes. you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this show was really provoked by a heartbreaking letter that I got from a woman really? to say, what do you think I should do over here? I've been chatting to this guy for a number of months, sure. and he has been so amazing. We're so in love with each other. He lives overseas, and I've never met him. In fact, I've never even seen him, but we email each other often. And over the period of months, I've really given him a lot of money because he's asked me Thanks. for money. Like wow. he's said, you know, I need money to call you or I need money for my kids that I wow. left back at home. Wow. I'm living on an oil rig and I don't have access to a bank. So please, will you send me money? So she said she has sent about 500,000 rand of her life savings oh. to this oh, man. Oh, my goodness. But That's... she's writing to say, do you think I should be giving him more money because he's now asking for money because he's promised to come and visit me now. No. And, <laughs> no. Okay. and I wonder okay. if I should be giving more money. Yeah. So what really hit me in the guts was the naivety and yeah. the vulnerability of this woman. Who and has? The, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure for love. us, for, I'm sure for <laughs> us, it's like something that is so mean. crazy and ludicrous. How could you? How could you? How could yeah, you? Yeah. But. Mm. For, I think for a lot of people, when they're in love, when they feel like they've met somebody yes. who truly gets them, who they connect exactly. with, you exactly. almost don't realize up until it reaches this number of 500,000 uh, rand. Sure. But how, who, who becomes a target yeah. for these online scammers? Right. Who, who Let's have a look at that. So there are different kinds of scams. We're talking today yeah. specifically about romance scam. But what's really interesting, a piece of research that I found, is that millennials are the most vulnerable to financial scams to people who are going to be very seductive to them as well and say to them, please, will you just take this chunk of money or this tranche of money, I'm going to put it into your account, and would you just do me a favor and transfer it into somebody else's account? Yeah. So 40% of millennials are doing this, which is kind of scary. 40%? 40 40% 40 of millennials are doing that, more than what older people do. Older people are way, way more vulnerable, specifically women. And I'd love to hear from a man. If a man has actually been caught out wow. by a You're woman asking them for some kind of money to visit them, to be in love with them, has a man been caught out by a woman? Or are we just yeah. kind of bad-mouthing men? No, I think it happens game. both ways. Scam, I think it, it happens both ways. I'd be interested to find out I from think someone be who's great. currently going yeah. through yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so we want to know from you, could your online relationship be a scam? What are the mm. warning signs and what reparations can be made if you are? Are being scammed. Our lines are open. It is a safe space. So please do call us on 021-430-9881 with your questions or your comments. You can re re uh, remain anonymous. Dr. Eve is here to yeah. engage with you. It's my feel -good All right, we're continuing with our relationship chat this morning with Dr. E. We're talking about online scammers. How do you know that your relationship online is not a scam? And that is a tough one. Um, call us, 021-430-9881. Remember, this is a safe space. You can stay anonymous if you have a comment yeah. or a question. We actually do have a caller on the line, anonymous. Good morning. Welcome to Expresso. What is your question or comment for Dr. Eve? Hello? Hi. Hi, what's your question or comment for Dr. Eve, my love? Uh -huh. Hi, Dr. E. How are you this morning? Hi, wonderful. Talk to us. Yes, I just wanted to say that, yes, we're in Johannesburg. 
I hear a lot of scammers, and I'm a victim of it. Um, you know what? I just wanted to tell you that um, they, they, they fall in love with you. And what I do, uh, they give you everything a man must give you. Yeah. And uh, yeah. what happened actually is that you fall for it because you never had it. You come from a background that you maybe were abused. You come from a family yeah. that were abused, no mother, no father. What I do, yeah. you're vulnerable, and then they want money from you at a later stage. And I was so much scarred. I was scarred for over maybe 10, 11 years. I couldn't accept it. I couldn't accept the man that loved me. We went for horse riding. We went, we were so much in love. Yet I, I never ever knew I had, this was unconditional love. But I can tell you, all the women out there, you stand up, you make sure, you make very sure that your love is Genuine. I was, I was really... Oh, goodness. Anonymous. Oh, goodness. Sure, you can hear. Thank you very much. You can hear there's a lot of hurt there. Um, um, yeah, thank you for calling in um, and for reliving that experience because it's really not an easy one to relive. You know, yeah. you started out by just really being brave and just wanting yeah. to educate us and to warn other women, and thank you yeah. for that. And then you just got into the pain of it, and that's exactly what it is. There's no process there to isn't. go through afterwards. No, there isn't. You know? And you know what the sad thing is? That there are yeah. some individuals who play the long game. Well, they play the long course, game. They, they'll groom you and groom you yeah. up until that minute when you're so deep into it. Exactly. Now when they ask you for money, you almost can't understand yeah. that it's two completely different things. Yeah, that you're not yeah. in this for the love, but you're in this for the money. Y yeah, you, you just don't, you're correct, you don't, you can't stand back, and you yeah. were saying earlier on, you and that lucky when one falls in love. Yeah. One does a lot of crazy stuff. The lines stuff. are blurred. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I want to find out. You know, maybe just this is something you can point out. Yeah. How do these romance scammers initiate that contact sure. that that makes people fall for it in right. the first place? So they've got uh, it's a whole industry really where men and women sit in a in a space and they are looking for certain profiles. So one of the warning things is, um, well, one of the, the tips that I do want to give to people, specifically to vulnerable women, is don't write a lot of information about yourself because the more information yeah. that you write about yourself, uh. the more they have an understanding of what it is that you need. And then they can hook into that need and make it very personal. Mm. They get to see and hear about your life. So please don't give a lot of information about yourself. Mm. So they will then create a certain profile based on information that they've heard about you. That maybe you like travel or that you've been to Croatia or that you've been to you like traveling to Botswana, whatever it is. Yeah. And they will start on Facebook or on a dating okay. site specifically. They will then put their profile up and they will start chatting to you. And they look for women who are, as I said, older, more vulnerable, widowed yeah. or single, who are saying, I'm lonely, I'm single, I really mm. want to meet somebody, I okay. want to find love. And then they will start chatting with you. It could be a man or a woman who's behind yeah. this profile actually. Yeah. And they will then talk to you in a way that, as you heard from this woman, makes you feel unbelievably loved. They even mm. send gifts. I mean, some of them even will send you gifts and be That's completely sure. present and consistent yeah. in your life for days and days at a time, yeah. kind of feeding your great need to feel yeah. this love. And then slowly it'll come out where, from being the one who's got the power, they then become what's called the victim. Yeah. And they say, oh, you know what? I've run out of money. I really want mm. to come and see you. Yeah. So please just give me some money for airtime. It could start off just simply sure. like that. Playing the long game. Yeah. Mm. So well, we want to look at some warning signs absolutely. as well. Um, yeah, we definitely want to yeah. get into mm. some warning signs. We're going to get into that after this. We're taking a quick break. Yeah. But Anonymous, I'm so sorry that you had to go through this, but yes. I would rather have identified this now than continue with this for years and years and years to come only to wake up and find out that it's not real. So we stand with you and we really are sorry that you had yeah. to go through this. But we'll be right back after the break. It's my feel good breakfast show.
Welcome back to your Tune to your Feel Good Breakfast show. We are still talking relationship as Dr. Eve this morning, online scamming in terms of relationship and love. How do you know it's real? How do you know that you're being scammed? There's so many yeah. questions. We just unpack some of them right now. Mm -hmm. Dr. Eve, thank you very much for joining us. Remember, our lines are open 021-430-9881. Once again, this yeah. is a safe space. Please share with us if you have a comment or a question. Talking We'd about love to sharing, hear from you. we've just got a social media question, uh, which I think we just need to chat about very quickly. Uh, and it says here, Tinder to internet dating sites could your online relationship be a scam do you have a personal experience you can yeah. share to warn others and of course dr eve is going to take us through some of the warning signs uh, but just going through some of your comments dion swanapool says i did date someone online i did give cash as well and it was no scam so there are people out there who are sincere um oh. also lorato says yes it could be a scam because people nowadays are eager to date via internet mm. and forget that internet will give access to your information uh, to that particular person and then um, let's see up here Claude says yes be careful out there people are not true at the beginning and it seems real but as time goes on uh, they begin to know your insecurities uh, mm. and then bang he says they change uh, do your research properly uh, find out about their past before you accept mm. his or her love mm. yeah. so they, they they wait oh. to find out what your insecurities are mm. and then they have you I'm just thinking how our digital lives are so complex and complicated, right? So let's look at some of the warning yes. things. So say you are on this dating site and somebody likes you and starts chatting or requests to chat with you. The first thing that you want to do as you start chatting is to be able to look at the grammar and the language because you will find that there's an inconsistency. He may say, I am from the USA, I live in Virginia, USA, and yet you will find that his English is not really good. And it only begins to appear after a few chats because in the mm. beginning it's kind of a copy and paste that he will yeah. do or she will do and then you won't re you won't realize it but as the chat continues please notice inconsistencies also in the image so important that they usually put up images of people that you have described yeah. which are going to be attractive people so it would normally be for a man uh, who's in his mid 40s and looking at the profession is so important. Yeah. What kind of profession? They usually do professions that appeal to hearts of women, like military personnel or medical mm. personnel. Those that we feel like are doing good jobs with the country. Yeah. Those are the ones that they're going to say. Or they're engineers. And very commonly, these are men who say, I'm working on an oil rig mm. and I don't have access to a bank. Oh, okay. So please, will you just put some money into my account so no, that I can ask visit your mama. you? Ask your yeah. mama. We actually have another call on the line. Um, anonymous, good morning. What is your question or comment for Dr. Eve? Um, good morning to everybody at the Three Expresso Show. Morning. morning to you, Dr. Eve. I really Hi. appreciate it. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. Oh. Up down in Johannesburg. Very cold, oh. but nevertheless. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I was also, um, I am currently still in a relationship. Um, I also thought that that was a big scam of my entire life. Um, that was after I just came out of a relationship that went very, very bad. Been a single woman for three years then I decided, let me give it a try. Right. This person also asked me, um, I would love to see you if possible. And I was like, no, I don't know you. But anyhow, we kept on and he kept on phoning me. And I was just having fun after that, enjoying myself, laughing. And by the end of the day, he then asked me, can you please... Please send me 300 and I need to see you somewhere, somehow. Um, I just took a very lightly. No, it's fine. Send 300 rand mm. via, and then the person got the money and then called me back to say, um, will you be able to meet me at a specific place? I said, okay, fine, no problem. Um, when they to meet this person, we don't know each other. We've been spoken for nine months without seeing each other. Wow. wow. And um, yes, and then we came and we met, and um, I took him to a friend's house of mine, and we sat there and we chatted and we just, you know, enjoyed the afternoon. And um, it ended up currently at this moment we are together for five years now. Okay. Oh, so so, wow. so that wasn't that wasn't a scam. Oh. That you see I mean, now. Let me just point out the oh, difference no. of what made it real. They were talking voice to voice, right? Yeah. yeah. Anonymous, you were talking to him voice to voice. So he actually was, was a real... voice to voice, Exactly. Yeah. So that wasn't a scam. That's not what we're talking about yeah. today. Uh, 
in a scam situation. But I think one the fact these, that, that, that yes. he asked for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Still, that's, that's you know, it. that could have also she, indicated a bit have. of a red flag, but right. it turned out okay. It turned out okay. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, Thank that's very, very nice. Sharing. Thank you, Thank Anonymous. You. I, I was so relieved. Yeah. Yeah. I was so like, oh like, my when goodness, how is this going to end? This is terrible. Good things coming out of it at times, not all the time. I hear you. Thank you so much. You like the risk as well, even if they ask you for a hundred then. Yeah. So it could be ended up um, up to a thousand rand, up to one hundred thousand rand. You understand? Yeah. But, um, yeah, but I don't. I thank God because I mean I was also in that vulnerable state. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, indeed. So happy, a happy ending to, to that story. Thank you so That's much, so anonymous. Nice. Well, we've run out of time. Okay, sadly. just just just, just to be yes. able to say that that is a huge differential as well. Yeah. If yeah. this person will not appear on Skype or on FaceTime or voice to voice with you, that is such a big warning sign yeah. that he is yeah. not real. Yes, and also another great way to see if he or she is real, Google image I'm just going to say that. It's great, great to end. find out that totally. they're not Jim from down the road, exactly. they're Alejandro from Brazil, and they're not even in this country, and exactly. they're not actually talking to you. Exactly right. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful advice. So yeah. please be careful about that. Don't be sending out money. Watch exactly. yourselves a, yeah. a lot online. And I think what you all said reveal very little about yourself totally, you know, online absolutely. as well. Thank you, Dr. Thank e. you, yeah. Dr. E. We need another wow. one of these. I mean, this yeah. is such a layered topic, and I do believe that there's so many more people mm. that could be helped with totally. this. So hopefully somewhere down the line we can chat about it again.